Hello, Driving Intelligence Community. I just want to remind you that I've got a lot of playlists out there for a lot of different automotive manufacturers and even boats. A lot of my stuff is 10th generation F-150, but I've got things for Mustang, Cadillac, Honda, GM, etc. I'm going to link the F-150 playlist up here. I've got over 100 videos in my 10th generation F-150 playlist. You ought to check that out and see what's in there. But before I go on with this video, I just want to say please comment, like, and subscribe and share these videos. You can do nothing better than that to help me. It really just takes you a minute, and I promise I'm not going to put any bad stuff in your queue. Anyway, to get on with this video, I've got one playlist also that I haven't talked about, which is for aftermarket air intake systems that replace a stock air box on vehicles. In this case, I've done a lot of testing on this F-150, and I'm linking that playlist above also. In this case, I've actually modified this. I went from a K&N to a Volant from the original stock, and I've done a lot of testing, temperature testing on this. There's been a lot of controversy on that. But I've also done another thing. I've modified this vehicle to have a custom Ram Air system. And you can see that tube here that comes from underneath the front bumper. And it rams air as you're driving down the road up into the fender area, which pushes cold air into the Volant air intake system. And it's unbelievable how well that works because it, in many cases, whether it's in the summer or the winter, it will literally drop air intake temperatures a couple degrees below ambient because of that cold air being pushed in there at high speed. So check it out. And again, give me that thumbs up. I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.